some puppies in your herd and uh, which was your relationship with them? I was their nanny. <laughs> kind of, uh, it's, um, it's a term that we give to uh, older, experienced wolves within the family. The better terminology would probably be grandfather or grandmother figures. So we, we often have the older generation teaching the younger ones. Um, and that was my job, was to try and educate them as best I could into what they needed. And it was, uh, it was fun, it was exciting. Um, and I, I think I got as much from, from that teaching as they did. Uh, but to see them develop, um, and one of the biggest things for wolves is that we have to make sure that their emotional and social development is correct because in the wild they would have an entire family of different personalities that would cope with the demands of the youngsters. So if the youngster got too high in energy, there would be an adult on hand to calm the animal down, to offer the adult brain to regulate the emotion. Um, and young um, wolf pups, like young dogs, like young children, don't have the ability to calm themselves down. They have to rely on the adults around them to regulate. And we believe with the research that we've done with the wolves, other family-based animals have a similar need. So the killer whales, for instance, um, we think a lot of the issues is that they don't have that pod, uh, that family around the youngsters in captivity to regulate the necessary emotional development of the youngster, which is why the problems arise. Um, when you look at the wolves and how good they can adapt to a youngster's needs, it puts even us as humans to shame.